let's look at how to create a layer 3 tunnel using Jerry on Linux between Linux machines. So first of all, I have a three machine setup using VirtualBox. I have a machine called blue, a machine called red, and a machine called green. You won't be seeing green. However, green is the default gateway for both red and blue and passes data through between the two of them. Now blue has an IP address of 172.16.16.10, it's a slash 24 subnet, and it shares that IP address with the green machine. And then the red machine has a 172.17.17.10, and once again it's also in a slash 24, and it's sharing that IP address subnet with the green machine. And so data from the blue machine goes through the green machine to the red machine and vice versa. Now I'm going to be creating a GRE tunnel between the blue machine and the red machine. And the IP addresses on the tunnel are going to be 192.168.123.1 and .2. And then they will be able to communicate with each other over this tunnel. So let's look at how to do that. First of all, I'm going to start with the blue machine. So blue has a, an IP address. So if I look at ifconfig, I can see that it is 172.16.16.10. And I can do a ping red, which is the 172.17.17.10. And you can see it pings. That's great. Uh, I can do a trace route to uh, the red machine as well and you can see that it is two hops away so it goes to the green and then the red so let's go ahead and clear this and we'll get started so the first step you want to do in order to make this all work is you want to make sure that your machine allows ip forwarding now the easiest way to do this is to just do an edit so I do nano on the etc sysctl.conf file. And in here, I can add some information. Um, it's a little bit hard to see. Let's try it with Emacs and see if it's got it better. There you go. Much easier colors. All right. So I'm going to add a net.ipv4.ip underscore forward equals one and what that does is it goes and it modifies some of the kernel configurations so in the kernel there is this uh well the kernel has a proc directory that is available and in it there is a a net subdirectory with inside of that an ipv4 subdirectory and inside of that is ipv um, ip underscore forward file and it's not a real file, it's just kind of a, a virtual file, but you can set the value in that automatically on boot time. So I'll go ahead and exit, save that and exit. And then I will do sysctl minus p to process that. And now it says that it's going to forward IP version for traffic, which is nice. Then I want to go ahead and create the tunnel. So the way I do that is I have an IP tunnel, add, GRE1. So the new interface I'm creating is called GRE1 and it's in mode GRE. And the remote remote IP address is the IP address of the other side. So that'd be 172.17.17.10. So I am on the 161610. And so that's the local. So 172.16.16.10, and we'll do a time to live of 225. So that creates the tunnel interface. It doesn't assign an IP address to it yet, but if I go and type in ifconfig, I can see and nothing here. If I type in IP adder, I can see a bunch of information showing up. Um, that indicates that there's something going on. So let's go ahead and clear that. And the next step is to assign an IP address to that interface. So the IP adder add 192.168.123.1 slash 
30 because I don't really don't need a, a big network, just a small one. And uh, the device is GRE1. Now I'm going to activate that interface. So IP link set dev GRE1 up. Now if I have an IP, actually if I have an IF config, you can see that it has the GRE1 interface there. Now, I haven't set up the other side, so if I try pinging through this interface, it's not going to work. I can ping my own side, though, probably. Ping 192.168.123.1, and I can ping that, which is nice, but if I try pinging the other side, there's going to be nothing because, well, there's nothing there. All right. Next, I want to jump over to the other machine and configure that one. So I'll jump over to red and here we go. For red, I need to do the same forwarding thing as well. So I'll do sysctl, actually emacs sysctl.conf and then I'm going to add the net dot ipv4 dot ip underscore forward equals one and exit out of that and do sysctl minus p to reload it and then we have it set so now we are allowing our machine to forward traffic now we're going to create the tunnel so this machine is the 171710 and it's going to the 161610. So I will do an IP tunnel, add GRE1. I can have the same interface name, that's fine because it's a different machine. Mode, GRE, remote, and this is going to be 172.16.16.10. Local is one. 72.17.17.10 TTL 225. All right. I'm going to now add an IP address to that. So IP adder add 192.168.123.2 slash 30. So the same network. And the device is on the GRE1. And then I'm going to activate the interface. So I do IP link set dev GRE1 up. That activates it. At this point, um, assuming there were no firewalls in the way, I could just go ahead and ping the other side. So let's just test it right now. Let's see if I can ping. So ping, first of all, my own self. So 192.168.123.2. That uh, pings okay. Then I try ping the other side, and nothing is working right now, which indicates there's probably a firewall issue. So, GRE is its own protocol, um, kind of like uh, TCP and UDP. There's a GRE protocol, and there is an easy firewall rule for that. So, I'm going to do a rich rule. So, firewall CMD. Add rich rule equals and in my quotes I'll do rule protocol value equals quotes forty seven so that's the protocol number except and I add that in there and I can do a permanent as well permanent and that will activate it on this side. So now I jump back over to my blue machine. And this one needs the rule as well. Firewall CMD add rich rule equals rule protocol value equals 47 except and let's make that a permanent rule 
and let's also make it active currently. All right, at this point, the firewalls are cleared and we should be able to ping across. So I'll do um, ping 192.168.123.2. And I can ping all the way across. I can also ping myself 192.168.123.2. One. All right. So then, if we do a trace route to the other side, so 192.168.123.2, you can see, well, doesn't seem like the trace route is going through very easily. But it did get through eventually. Um, and if we try pinging the Arturian trace route with the other side, we can see we go through that way. I can also um, try SSHing over there. So SSH to 192.168.123.2. And I'll probably want to do it as Joseph because my root user is not allowed to SSH in. And I'll accept the fingerprint. I'll put in my password. And now I can see that instead of it being on the blue machine, I'm now logged into the red machine. So you can see how that works. And that is how you configure a GRE tunnel.